Hey guys, Sapphire here from Toon Buzz, and I've got Emily held hostage in the other room while I take over the show this week. Somebody help me! Spirited Away is Miyazaki's beautiful masterpiece about a young girl forced to work in a bathhouse. Wait, is Spirited Away about child prostitution? Ten-year-old Chihiro must work in a bathhouse in order to save her parents, who have been turned into pigs. This is very similar to how a lot of young girls are sold into prostitution in order to pay off their parents' debts. Back in the day, bathhouses doubled as brothels. The women that worked there were called Yuna, which is what Chihiro is referred to in the Japanese version of the film. And brothel madams were called Yubaba, which is the name of the bathhouse owner. Yubaba forces Chihiro to sign a contract that changes her name to Sen, very similar to how a lot of women change their name when entering this industry. You know how, like, strippers change their names to something like Candy or Sapphire. And the creepy no-face spirit? He keeps offering Chihiro money because he wants to, you know, buy her. In the end, the spell is broken when Chihiro remembers her real name, symbolizing that her innocence and sense of identity has been restored. So, is this film really a commentary on Japanese child prostitution? All right, before you go crying about how your childhood is ruined, think about those young girls who don't have a childhood. There are a lot of articles and blogs that claim that Miyazaki himself said that the bathhouse is indeed a brothel, but it is impossible to find where this quote came from, so if somebody can find it, please send it to me. He's also been quoted with saying that he made this film simply because there just aren't a lot of films out there that 10-year-old girls can relate to. He said that kids these days are insensitive to the efforts that parents make to keep them happy. So from that perspective, Chihiro's journey is really just about learning work ethic and appreciating her parents. The bathhouse could very well be a commentary on the corruption of Japanese youth. This place where you go to be cleaned and purified has now become a place of filth and greed. Chihiro was never tempted by No Face's money. The only thing she cared about was saving her friend Haku and her parents. Her purity of heart is what saved her in the end. I think we can all agree that Spirited Away is about a young girl being forced to grow up. But how she does so is still up for debate, and I think this theory makes some pretty good points. So I'm giving it 3.5 giant babies. Thanks for watching this week's episode, guys. What do you think? Do you agree with this theory? Talk about it in the comments. Feel free to follow me on Twitter or Instagram and see awesome photos of my dog. Links are down below, and we'll see you next week. Bye-bye.